So the keyword here is consent. It's not a consent if it uh, falls under these four categories or uh, subcategories. So the first category would be if the person is under uh, fear, uh, be it harm towards the mind or body. So there are examples like uh, when the, the person is being kidnapped or being assaulted. So in that scenario, you are afraid. Oh, what, what could that person actually do to me? So you comply. You comply to any request uh, that the person gives to you. So uh, that also goes on to bullies, loan sharks, and blackmail. Because you don't want any harm to come to you. And it goes on to the next uh, subcategory, which is uh, under the misconception of fact. Misconception of fact, uh, in other layman terms, would mean fraud, scam, being deceited, being deceived, and then um, more commonly, unable to comprehend spoken languages. So, like you see, the Amas, 60 year old, or maybe uh, mainland China people. Sometimes they don't understand our English, but they just oh, do it, do it, do it. oh. So they just comply, then they maybe give money. So they just comply without uh, understanding. Yeah. <laughs> so that is uh, misconception of fact. Um, scam fraud, I think, I believe I do not have the proceed for that. Next portion would be uh, saying consent is not a consent if the consent is given by a person, unsum of mine, uh, example of being insane. Uh. The person is not sane. <laughs> Mental incapac incapacity, retarded, being intoxicated, be it uh, through drugs, alcohol, narcotics, etc. etc. And uh, that, that, that they can refer to their That's all. It's, it's all. 83, 84, mm. uh, 85. So they, their consent does not count if they cannot understand the nature and consequences which are consented. Means if they comply while being high, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. If they comply, but they had the green letter. It doesn't count. Roger? <laughs> and an example is agree to comply. <laughs> so the last portion of 90, section 90, is 90C. Uh, a comply is not, a consent is not a consent. If the person is under the age of 12, meaning the person is a minor. Uh, and even if it cons uh, the consent is from the minor itself, it doesn't apply if the parent or guardian is not there. So, intention to inflict act, inflict or act indecent actions on a minor, pedophilia, pedophilia, is that is sexual acts, indecent acts towards the minor and then intention to take the minor away from the parent or guardian's uh, surrounding without their approval. That's why when you are a kid, you go for excursions, you go for things like that, you need a consent form. <laughs> and that's Maybe you like to place everything there on the Place everything there. Place it on the wall. <coughs> Good, right? Eh? Okay. Hey, do you have any question before I start on this? <laughs> Anything out here? The E is so big. Uh. <laughs> e. e. Capitalize. So, any question? Do you understand this section? Uh? It's a clear. Yeah, it's okay. It's clear. So, section 90, consent is not a consent, and consent is given under fear of what? Um, harm towards body or mind. Fear. Fear of causing death or fear of causing harm to a person. Okay, you mentioned down there in a thing or extortion. What is extortion? Being extorted of possessing possession. Force. 
cost. Maybe it could be it could be monetary. It could be example. Example, right? So like, let's say I I point a gun to him, right? I hold a drug. Then you go and pass to him, to her, lah. Then he he hold the drug, then he cannot call. So he exempted from. Then you never get that. You hold on. Then he the the one lah. This one lah. This one is exempted from being charged, yeah. So he, I I stop him, right? I threaten him to. Example, eh, if not I kill you, ah, you pass him. Correct. Can also what? Okay. He's being forced to comply, lah. So that is that's your understanding, why right? Or maybe a bad baby. Okay, so before before you all learn law, you all don't know what is extortion. Uh, seriously, I would say, uh, right? So extortion means that like, you put someone in fear, okay? You put someone in fear, and you demand for what? You demand for property or valuable security. <coughs> and you, usually, you will give him time frame. Time frame. Time frame means that like, you give him time limit to produce property or security. That is extortion. Meaning, hey, you give me five thousand, five thousand dollars by tomorrow. <coughs> so what do I demand for? I request for what? I ask for money, which is your property. Right? So I'm giving you time frame. This is the sense that I want. I don't get the money now. But when I get tomorrow, so I will still pay on you. That is an portion. With the consequence okay? that. Okay, so in this case, uh, usually when you ask for consent, uh, usually it is immediate. Let's say consent is not a consent, consent is given under fear of the Give me your money, no, I kill you. Faster! So what you do? Give the money. Give me your money, right? So is that a consent? Is that consent or not? I ask for, for your money. Give me your money now, faster, if not, I kill you. So you give me your money. So is that consent? Yes. That is consent. But is that a real consent? Why? Because I put you under fear of death or fear of the so usually this is in the case of robbery. Robbery. Because robbery is immediate. I want your money now. When you say extortion, give me my, give me your money by tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you see the difference yeah? Between extortion and robbery. Because in your exam you need to differentiate the difference between extortion and robbery. Another example I give you. You go to the girl, you go and grab hold of her. You don't scream! You know I'll kill you! So what do you do? Comply. Tear off my shirt. Don't scream! <laughs> then what do you do? You rape her. Is this consent? Is this consent or not? Eh? Hey, hey. Ah, uh, Don't scream! Hey, hey, I got a knife, man. <laughs> then what happened? She had to submit to you. If not, you kill her. Crap! Then later, she lost police report. Then you were arrested. Later in the court, you say, uh, No! She submit to me, what? she never scream, she never do anything. She submit to me, she happily enjoying every moment. <laughs> then, is that consent? No, sir. Is that consent? No, sir. It is consent, but how do you obtain consent? By putting her in? Yeah. That's not consent. That is rape. Sorry or not? Yes, sir. Okay, next you mentioned about what? Misconception of fact. Misconception of fact. You know those... Uh, Maybe uh, yourself. Suddenly you feel that you cannot possess. So what you do? You don't believe in doctor. So you meet who? The Bobo or the what? Chinese or the medicine? Medium. Medium. <laughs> then you see it every medium. <laughs> so he, he know that uh, this one is a con man. Uh. Oh, this one uh, in order to cure your sinus, it got goes inside your body. So I suggest you go and stay with me for night. Huh? Oh, I'll do prayer for story. you. I'll chase away the goat from, from your body. That's the story, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? Then, you, uh, uh, not after I do this thing, uh, the goat will run away from your body. <laughs> but you must have sex with me. What? <laughs> so how you obtain yeah, consent from you? <laughs> By giving you the misconception of sex. You thought that yeah, this fellow, uh, what he said, right? but actually is the biggest boy. Uh, uh, so he has committed an offence of rape. Rape, one of the criteria is misconception of facts. You went to deceive a girl, you went to deceive a woman to that extent whereby you have sex with her, right? Maybe based on misconception of facts. This is rape. Understand, uh? And one of the
Garmo, a real story happens at any Insan Garmo. The, uh, let's say I'm a tenant, uh, I go and rent, uh, rent, uh, rent a room. I'm a tenant. Uh. So, uh, every time, husband and wife, you married, uh, okay. husband and wife, in the landlord. So, when Edwin is away, uh, at night, every time Edwin comes back, day, uh, the wife really wait for him uh, on the bed, off the light. So, I've been studying his pattern. Every time he come back, you jump on bed and have sex with the wife every night like that. So I'm the tenant, I've been observing the way. So one night, I decide to strike. Before Edwin managed to come back, what I do? The wife will really be inside, uh, inside the room, off the light, on the, uh, on the bed already. So I will act as though I'm Edwin. Then uh, I slowly go and turn the door. And I jump onto the bed exactly how Edwin jump. But this time around, the, the wave is very strong uh, because of my size. <laughs> and throughout the whole day, uh, she never screamed. She never she enjoyed every moment. Hey, tonight, why so different? Uh? Okay, she never screamed, she never retaliated. So after everything over, she said, why so different? Uh? She on the light, dish. You see one old man on top of her. Uh. He's not my husband, uh. he's the other person, he's my tenant. So how? The next moment I say thank you, ah. I go. Is this consent or is this strength? <laughs> but you enjoy every moment, ah. You scream too loud, ah. <laughs> then you say rape, ah. How can? Who is this rape? Right? Because we assume that it's actually the husband. Yeah, she only submit to her husband. Then yeah, she thought that it was her husband, but now it's you. So how you manage to have sex with her? By misconception. So this is rape. You also mentioned what uh, an unsound mind, insane person. Insane person cannot give consent. Today you see uh, one of the girls here is normal. Later she been diagnosed to be like insane. Uh, doctor said she's insane. Now she's normal. Six months later, uh, she got the, the green card. Six months later, you see her pregnant. Must see who's the girl, boyfriend one. Uh, so if the boyfriend go and have sex with her. When she is insane, that is great. Understand? Uh? Okay, what else? Minor. Minor means some people are crazy. They go and have sex with a, a girl below her. This is rape. Clear cut, a case of rape. Understand? Uh? If you learn about rape, uh, these are all the good definitions for you. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any more that I didn't cover? Under influence of drugs, this is uh, under intoxication. Some people, uh, you love, you, you like the girl so much. You go and try, try her so many times, cannot get. Oh, you don't want to submit to me. Never mind. You go and spike her drinks. After she gets drunk, what you do? You bring her to the room. Then what you do? You go and have sex with her. You say, okay, about a mess, mess. <laughs> but when she, when she wake up, what happened? She realized that she's been raped. <laughs> uh, how you manage to rape her? How you manage to have sex with her? By? You went to fight with her. This is great. Don't try to be a hero. Uh. You don't think you are smart. Are you? Oh, it's very difficult to get you. Never mind. I can spot you. But sir, if I say it's too unsolved, men and women, uh, that one, uh, uh. that one, both will go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they got no offense, uh. they can do whatever they like. Until they 